Hello, and welcome to another episode of Homework with Miss Thomas. I am Miss Thomas, and today we will be exploring lesson two of module two. The objective is to express metric mass measurements in terms of a smaller unit and model and solve addition and subtraction word problems involving metric mass. Let's jump right into it. All right, so we are dealing with mass in this lesson, and mass has to do with weight, right? It's um, how heavy something is, is its mass, essentially. And it's important to know what they've shown right here. Um, just like in lesson one, that kilometer was a thousand, it's the same with the kilogram. So keeping this conversion in our mind will help us in this work. So I am doing each of these kilometers times 1,000, right? Because there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. So if I have six, I have 6,000. If I have 8,000, then I'm dividing by 1,000, right? I'm doing the inverse. That is eight, right? Because there are eight thousands. If I have 15, I have 15,000. If I have 24,000, there are 24,000. So that would be 24. If I have 550, that is 550 thousands so number two they want us to convert the measurement i have two kilograms and 700 grams that's 2700 five kilograms and 945 grams that's 5945 29 kilograms 58 grams that's 29,000. notice it's no hundreds right so i'm gonna put zero in the hundreds 58, five tens, eight ones. 31 kilograms, three grams, that's 31,000. No hundreds, no tens, three ones. 66,597 grams is 66,597. So that would be 66 kilograms, 597 grams. For number, for F, for the part F, we have 270 kilograms, that's 270,000, 41 grams, so no hundreds and 41. We're gonna solve. So we can do it two ways, obviously. Uh, as in lesson one, we could do a simplifying strategy that's mentally in our head, or we can do an algorithm. That's when we follow the addition or subtraction steps. So I'm going to, for this A1, I'm going to line these up and use an algorithm, putting these in smaller units. I could have done this mentally, though, I think, but there is some regrouping, so I'm going to use the algorithm. I have zero ones, 15 tens, so I regroup one, and then four, making 450 grams. For this next one, um, I'm going to put these in smaller units. So I have 55 kilograms, that's 5,000 grams, and then 730 grams that I'm subtracting from it. I'm going to take from the five, five becomes four. This uh, zero becomes 10 and then nine. And then this zero becomes 10, right? I don't need to regroup to this zero because I can do zero minus zero. So that one says 10. Zero minus zero is zero. 10 minus three is seven. Nine minus seven is two and four. 4,270 grams or four kilograms, 270 grams. Okay, here they want us to add these in, or subtract them, but add in these case, in this case, in smaller units. So I'm gonna put all of these in the smaller units. I'm gonna convert them all to grams. So for this first one, I have 27 kilograms or 27,457 grams plus 600 
94 grams. 7 plus 4 is 11. Regroup 1. This is 14. Regroup 1. This is 12. Regroup 1. This is 8. Nothing to regroup. And this is 2. 28,241 grams. For this next one, I have 16 kilograms, which is 16,000 grams plus 2,800 grams. I could have done a simplifying strategy with this for sure. This is 800 grams and this is 18 grams, right? I could have just added 16 and two. That's at 18 and then 800. For E, they want us to do this in mixed units, put the answer in mixed units. So you could convert it to smaller units and then um, put the answer in mixed units, or you could subtract in mixed units. So I'll do both ways. Let's do mixed units for this first one. So I'm gonna put the kilograms with the kilograms and the grams with the grams. If you notice here, I don't have enough, right? 200 is less than 300. So I'm gonna have to regroup, unbundle. Um, I'm gonna take from this four, making that three. One kilogram is 1,000 grams. So that's what I'm gonna add to this 229. That's 1,229. Now I can subtract. Um, I can do nine minus five. I can't do two minus five. So I'm gonna cross out this two, make it one. This two, make it 12. I can do one minus three. So I'm gonna cross out this one, make it zero. And this becomes 11. Now I can subtract. Nine minus four, five is four. 12 minus five is seven. 11 minus three is eight. And um, zero. Yep, no thousands to subtract. And then I have three kilograms. So this is three kilograms, 874 grams. For this one, let's convert it to smaller units and then back to mixed units. So that will be 70,000, because it's 70 kilograms, 101 grams, minus 17 kilograms, 862 grams. I can't do one minus two. I can't take from zero. So I'm gonna take from this one. Then the zero becomes 10 and then nine. And then this one becomes 11. Now I can subtract 11 minus two. I can subtract nine minus six. I can't do zero minus eight. I can't take from zero. So I'm gonna take from the seven. Seven becomes six. This zero becomes 10 and then nine. And then this zero becomes 10. Now I can subtract. 11 minus 2 is 9, 9 minus 6 is 3, 10 minus 8 is 2, 9 minus 7 is 2, 6 minus 1 is 5. So in mixed units, that would be 52,000 grams, which is 52 kilograms, 239 grams. For number 4 and on, they want us to draw a tape diagram, model the problem, use an algorithm or simplifying strategy to solve, and then write an answer statement. For number one, it says, one suitcase weighs 23 kilograms, 696 grams. Another suitcase weighs 25 kilograms, 528 grams. What is the total weight of the two suitcases? They tell us it's two, so I'm gonna draw a tape diagram that has two parts. Um, one is 23 kilograms, 696 grams. The other is 25 kilograms, 528 grams. They want to know the total, right? Total tells me I'm adding, right? I, I know the two parts, I do not know the whole. So I'm gonna put the parts together. So X equals 23 kilograms, 696 grams, plus 
25 kilograms, 528 grams. Um, let's add six plus eight, 14, regroup one. This is 12, regroup one. This is 12 also. This next part for the kilograms, we have eight and four, 48 kilograms. But if you notice here, we have 1,000 grams. So this is 49, because I'm gonna move this 1,000 grams to the kilogram. So if I have 48 plus one, that's 49 kilograms. 224 grams. The total weight of both suit cases is 49 kilograms. 224 grams. For number five, a bag of potatoes and a bag of onions combined weigh 11 kilograms, 15 grams. If the bag of potato weighs one kilogram, 300 grams, how much does the bag of onions weigh? So we know the total weight. We know what they are combined. They tell us 11 kilograms, 15 grams. They tell us that the potatoes are seven kilograms, 300 grams. That's one part. And we don't know the other part. So in order to get the other part, we're going to subtract. If you know the whole, you subtract. If you know the total, you have to get rid of a part, the parts that you do know, and then you'll know the part that you don't know. So let's subtract. We have 11 kilograms, 15 grams minus seven kilograms, 300 grams. I see here that I can't subtract 15 minus 300. So I'm gonna take one kilogram that leaves 10. Right, 11 minus one is 10, and I'm gonna add 1,000, right? Because 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. 1,000 plus 15 is 1,015. Now I'm going to subtract. I can do five minus zero, I could do one minus zero, I can also do 10 minus three. So this is 715 grams, and then 10 minus seven is three kilograms. So the bag of onions weigh three kilograms, 715 grams. For number six. The table to the right shows the weight of three dogs. What is the difference in weight between the heaviest and the lightest dog? This word difference means subtract, right? Because we're comparing the two dogs. I need to know how much more one is than the other. So then the heaviest one is the total, right? That's the, the biggest number. So I'm gonna subtract the lightest from the total. Um, let's look at these dogs. We have, um, Definitely Riley is the heaviest, for sure, right? Because that's 23 kilograms. Um, both of the other two dogs are 21, so let's look at the grams part. 21 kilograms, so let's look at the grams part. We have 259 and 268. 200, 
I'm sorry, 249 is less than 268. So here is the lightest. So let's draw a tape diagram. We have Lassie and we have Riley. Riley weighs less than, I'm sorry, Lassie weighs less than Riley. So you can see that Lassie is part of Riley's. This part is Lassie's weight, which is 21 kilograms. 249 grams. This other part is how much more Riley is, and that's the part that we don't know. We do know that Riley's is 23 kilograms, 128 grams. We don't know this other part. So I'm going to subtract because Riley's is the total. That's how big, the biggest weight, right? So I'm not gonna add because Riley is the biggest number. So I'm gonna subtract. So in order to get X, you're going to subtract 23 kilograms, 128 grams minus 21 kilograms, 249 grams. I can't subtract 100 minus 200. So I'm going to unbundle. I'm gonna take one of the kilograms and add 1,000 grams. Now I can't do A minus nine, so I'm gonna take one, add 10. Can't do one minus four, so I'm gonna take one, add 10. And I can't do zero minus two, so I'm gonna take one and add 10. Now I can subtract. 18 minus nine is nine. 11 minus four is seven. 10 minus two is eight. So that's 879 grams. And then 22 minus 21 is one. So, the difference in weight is one kilogram, 879 grams. Let's write that. The difference in weight is one kilogram, 879 grams. All right, thanks so much for watching everyone. Until the next time, keep learning and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Da 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 ba 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 da ba 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 do 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 do